In microeconomics, economies of scale are the cost advantages that enterprises obtain due to size, output, or scale of operation, with cost per unit of output generally decreasing with increasing scale as fixed, costs are spread out over more units of output. Economies of scale apply to a variety of organizational and business situations, and at various levels, such as a business or manufacturing unit, plant or an entire enterprise. For example, economies of scale apply to the fixed cost to produce units of output through production and manufacturing. When average costs start falling then economies of scale are in production with fixed costs being a requirement for the equation. With no fixed costs, the average cost and average variable cost would be equal 1. Economies of scale exist in real life. Some economies of scale such as capital cost of manufacturing facilities and friction loss of transportation and industrial equipment, have a physical or engineering basis. The economic concept dates back to Adam Smith and the idea of obtaining larger production returns through the use of division of labor to dis economies of scale are the opposite. Economies of scale often have limits such as passing the optimum design point, where costs per additional unit begin to increase. Common limits include exceeding the nearby raw material supply, such as wood in the lumber, pulp, and paper industry. A common limit for low cost per unit weight commodities is saturating the regional market, thus having to ship product and economical distances. Other limits include using energy less efficiently, or having a higher defect rate. Large producers are usually efficient at long runs of a product grade a commodity and find it costly to switch grades frequently. They will therefore avoid specialty grades, even though they have higher margins. Often smaller usually older manufacturing facilities remain viable, by changing from commodity grade production to specialty products.